Tucker says last Thursday she saw that speeding car. She was driving really fast. She watched in shock as the driver, Nicole Linton, crashed into two cars. I think it's very sad that this happened. It was for no reason, and now all of these people are dead, and it's so senseless. They gon' find you, catch you sleeping. Ooh, 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 stay woke. Nicole Lorraine Linton, a 36-year-old traveling nurse from Houston, claims she got her nursing degree and doctor of nursing practice at UT Health in Houston. She worked at local hospitals as an IC nurse before becoming a traveling nurse in 2020. But sadly, Nicole Linton was charged with vehicle manslaughter in Los Angeles and was ordered to be held without bail. On August 4th, 2022, Nicole allegedly was driving at a high rate of speed, literally going 90 miles per hour on La Brea Boulevard, when she crashed into several vehicles, causing a fiery wreck. Killed in the crash were Asherai Ryan, who was 23 years old, and she was eight months pregnant. Her 11th month old baby boy and her boyfriend were also killed in the wreck. Two other women who have yet to be identified in another vehicle were also sadly killed. Six other vehicles were involved in the collision, including five people with minor injuries in an SUV and another driver in another vehicle. Tabia Johnson, a witness to the crash, took a photo of Linton sitting down on a nearby sidewalk following the crash with the burning aftermath visible in the background. Nicole only appeared to have suffered minor injuries, including, you know, bleeding near the head. Authorities did mention that they haven't found any evidence that Nicole was under the influence of alcohol or any substances. The California Highway Patrol said that she at least was in 13 previous crashes prior, including a 2020 injury accident that totaled two cars. So she clearly has a history of bad driving in the past. Nicole's lawyer, Halim D., said in court that his client has a history of profound mental health issues from out of state that could be linked to the collision, but did not elaborate according to the Times Magazine. Nicole was also believed to be a flight risk since she works as a traveling nurse. She literally can flee to anywhere in the world, so the judge denied a request to set bail. She is currently facing up to 90 years if convicted on all charges. Nicole Linton was in court just a short time ago. Let's go to some video so you can see what it looked like in the courtroom there. She wasn't ready to make a plea. She did, however, ask for more time. Her attorneys asked for a continuance that was granted. More on that in a moment. This on the same day charges were announced by District Attorney George Gascon. Nicole Linton will be charged with six, six counts of murder in five counts of gross vehicular manslaughter. The district attorney says the six murder counts pertain to the five people killed in last Thursday's horrific crash at South La Brea and Slauson. 23-year-old Asheray Ryan, her almost one-year-old son Alonzo, her unborn son, and the father of that unborn child. As for driving under the influence... There is no evidence of any alcohol use at this point. But DA Gascon says that's still under investigation. Issa Rae is showing her support since this devastating incident happened near her hometown and she will be donating money to help the family of Asherai Ryan. The family set up a GoFundMe to raise 100 k to help cover funeral expenses for the young mother and her son. Her sister Sienna did express a few words about what she was doing prior and just how much the support really means to her and her family. Right now, I'm speaking on behalf of my whole family. My sister, Asher Ryan, was 23 years old. She was eight and a half months pregnant with my second nephew, Armani Reese Lester. She was in the car with my nephew, Alonzo Contreras, and her boyfriend, Reynold Lester. They had just left the house at 1.30, and she woke me up. She woke me up and told me that she was going to go to her doctor's appointment, that she loved me, and she'll be right back. At 
I seen a video of a car accident. And for some reason, as soon as I seen that video, it hit home, it hit different. I felt connected and I felt, felt off. But yeah, she left the house wearing her two piece gray legging set. It was a gray top with some gray leggings. And Lonzo was wearing a light beige outfit as well. Right around 1.44, when the light turned green, my brother-in-law proceeded to go across because he had the right of way. You see, he was waiting at the red light. When the light turned green, he went across the light as he should. But at that same time, a woman who I don't even have her name was driving over 100 miles per hour before she crashed into them, killing my sister and her whole family. You know, I already cried. I cried. I didn't sleep not one bit. I'm all cried out, but I'm still shaking. I can't lie to you. It's my only big sister. And after that, immediately, I start looking for videos because I'm like, okay, this doesn't feel right. My sister's driving down that street at the same time. And I found angles of his car getting rammed in by her BMW. Immediately, his car split in half. Mercedes, her black Mercedes. Immediately upon impact, his car split in half. Honestly, we're looking for legal representation because this doesn't make no sense. And before that, there are reports of that same woman driving through West LA, side swiping cars and almost hitting pedestrians. They already told the police it was a drunk driver in a Mercedes. My thing is, how did they let her get from West LA to South Central? Like, I know it's not the furthest distance, but come on now, that's like a good mile, two miles away. But let me focus on what I'm supposed to talk about. So yeah, the driver was drunk and distraught from getting into a fight with her boyfriend, her friend. So she had gone to a fight with her boyfriend, then she started to drink it before she went on her suicide mission. Her taking my sister, my nephews, my brother-in-law, she took, she took my son's only cousin. We are so deeply hurt. So right now, my family's asking for anybody with legal representatives, any type of connections to reach out to us to help us. As well as we'll be starting to go find me because we have to bury four people. Also, I strongly feel that we need family therapy. So we're gonna be looking for assistance with funding that. Thank you for everybody who came. Thank you for everybody who sent your condolences. And I hope you guys know what really happened. My sister wasn't driving fast. I'm tired of seeing negative comments under her page saying slow down. No, they waited at the red light. They went when they were supposed to go. So I just want y'all to know what really happened. She was on her way to a doctor's appointment to check up on her baby. So guys, please share your thoughts below regarding this case. It's very unfortunate and sad to all the families that lost their loved ones. Literally, you know, for no reason. Everything just happened so fast. And I'm praying that Nicole receives some type of peace because I know she must feel horrible and guilty for what she has, you know, created. This case is still ongoing, so I hope all information comes out soon on what caused Nicole Linton to get to this point. Was it really mental health issues? Did she fall asleep? Was she trying to harm herself? Because it's just not adding up. So what really caused all of this to happen? Was she being reckless? You know, like you just have no idea. And she does have a past history um of bad driving so i'm really like concerned on why her license was never revoked prior you know so that's just crazy guys so leave in the comments below what you guys think and i'll see you guys in the next case they gonna find you catch you sleeping whoa, whoa, whoa. stay woke baby creep